Good evening, I'm Gloria Penner. Tonight, full focus goes back to school as we examine how the federal No Child Left Behind Act is affecting San Diego schools. We'll also hear how local colleges are opening their doors to students displaced by Hurricane Katrina, and we'll meet one of those students. But first, a visit to Gompers Middle School. Last spring, San Diego school trustees accepted a five-year charter plan for Gompers, an historically underachieving school in Choyas View. Parents and teachers worked for more than six months to create the new charter school. As Karen Rosada shows us, the start of the school year begins the real test for Gompers. It's a new chapter in Gompers history, as 1,000 students and staff start the first day of the new charter school. Students, it's important that you know that not only the, is the community supporting you, but your parents. No one is more excited than Vincent Riverall. We caught up with him a couple of weeks ago. I know you have a lot of goals. What is your number one goal for the, for the first year? Um, to improve the school culture and to accelerate student achievement. At 36 years old, Riverall now holds the new title of director of Gompers Charter School. His previous title was principal. We want to send the message in every way possible that this is a brand new school with a brand new philosophy, with a brand new curriculum and feel. It's a better feeling than Riverall had last February when after just five months on the job he was removed from Gompers by the San Diego Unified School District Board and former Superintendent Alan Burson. Riverall says he wasn't given a reason but he thinks it was purely political. Some on the school board were opposed to the push to make Gompers a charter school. But once the green light was given for the charter, Riverall was brought back with the popular support of teachers and parents. I'm one of the parents that went door to door to get the charter. It's been a year coming, <laughs> but I'm so excited. It's, I'm nervous, I'm excited because it's been a lot of work. A lot of people put a lot of hours, nights. Gomper sits on 47th Street in Choyas View. In the mid-80s, it was a thriving magnet school, but is now one of the lowest performing schools in the San Diego Unified School District. After failing to meet federal academic goals, Gompers was forced to restructure. We were faced with the brutal reality that under No Child Left Behind, we need to make some changes. And those changes were in four different options presented to us. Remove the principal, well, this school has had four principals already in the past you know, uh, two years. Um, become a contract school from the, from the state, a state, state school, or go charter. And so I have to ask you, you were principal during the time when we had the lowest achieving test scores, and now you're going to be the director, and what will be different? That's a great question. Um, There's so many things that are going to be different that in the past has inhibited student achievement at the level that it's needed. Major differences, he says, include the ability to design academic programs so we and attract involved. and retain top teachers. As a charter, Gompers is still a publicly funded school, but now operates like an independent business, which includes hiring and firing its staff and teachers. You got to look at why Gompers was a low performing school. We started the school last year with 18 vacancies. So as a parent, you would expect that I send my child to school and they would have a credential teacher in the classroom on day one. That wasn't the norm. 18 vacancies that lasted throughout the year. How can students learn? This year, Gompers is starting the first day of school nearly fully staffed with teachers who have been preparing for the change all summer long. We're just ready to really get to work this year and really go about doing what we know we can do. We're going to look at your first day schedule just to make sure nobody's missing any classes. We want to make sure everyone's in a class. So the first thing Tracy Johnston okay. is starting her third Next. year at Gompers, this year teaching eighth graders. They need someone who cares about them at this age. There's so much they're going through. Johnston says it has been difficult for many of the teachers Tomorrow at Gompers to deal with the school's underperformance. The last two years has been a lot of struggle, a lot of change, a lot of uncertainty. Um, the first year we came here with this big lofty goal of you know, making these changes and they didn't go as we planned. One change for the school is a longer school day from 7.50 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. All students will go directly to 
what we call TEAM, which is named after a college university, and they meet with seven teachers, seven of their teachers that work with them throughout the day to check in. How you doing? Good morning. Good to see you. What's the school song? Did you do your homework today? Let's do our school chant. Let's do our cheer. Let's um, take a look at all the assignments that you have for today that are due. And every school day begins with math and English classes. For myself as an English teacher, it's great that I don't have to teach English in the afternoon when I know students aren't focused as well. So they'll be getting English and math instruction during the day. Um, our schedule is set up in a way that there's two teachers in every classroom. So that's another built-in support right there where that's going to really lower the adult to student ratio. This charter is sincere in saying that we believe that all students can achieve but to the point that we're going to actually act on it. And that means reinventing what we have normally done and putting in those supports to actually make sure that students do achieve. He says a lot of support is coming from UCSD, which has pledged to provide up to 150 tutors and interns to Gompers each week, along with the guidance of UCSD professor and college provost Cecil Lytle, who helped create the university-run Preuss High School on the La Jolla campus. We've worked very hard to make Preuss School a model school, to, to infuse all of the best practices in public education, particularly for urban youngsters. And the next important step is to take that model which exists on the university campus and to transplant it here at a neighborhood school and we chose Gompers because 77 of our families at Preuss live in the Gompers area and we're essentially wanting to work with those same families at what should be their neighborhood school to build a quality public education. But UCSD is not providing any direct financial or administrative oversight. A memo released by UCSD states that support is not guaranteed and may be subject to budget cuts. It is not going to be easy. In fact, one of the first lessons our students are going to learn on day one is REACH. REACH stands for respect, enthusiasm, achievement, citizenship, and hard work. It's not going to be easy for anyone, but what in life that's worth having is. And I think this is the last social injustice of our time is public education. There's no excuse for the demise of public education. None. Gomper's 15-member school board includes parents, teachers, UCSD educators, and community members like former state senator Dee Dee Alpert and San Diego Urban League president Cecil Stepp. 